Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. So we're just gonna get started and if you wanna see how I did these nails then just keep on watching. So I have a dappin' dish. I have the acrylic color and prettiest pink by Valentino Nails. I also have super white and I also have crystal clear. Now I'm going to be using the monomer from Kiss which came in the Kiss nail kit as y'all can see by one of my other videos which will be linked down below. Out of that same kit, I'm going to be using the primer and the nail glue. Y'all can also buy this separately at your local beauty supply store. Next, I just have these glitters and I have my nail tips and my nail brush, which are also all from Amazon and will be linked down below. Next, I have some cuticle scissors that I use to cut the tips, but I do not recommend because they're curved at the top. But I have this 100 by 180 grit file, then I have a regular nail file, then I have a buffer. And then I bought some more monomer from my local beauty supply store because I ran out of the monomer from the Kiss Kit. So starting out, I'm just going to use my bobby pin to push my cuticles back and I'm letting y'all know now I'm not a professional nail tech. I'm only using this because I cannot find my cuticle pusher. But back to the video, I'm just going to remove the shine from my nails just by filing it with a regular nail file. You don't want to use the 100 by 180 nail file because you don't want to damage your nails. After that, I just glued on all my tips, but as y'all can see, my pinky nail is a little messed up. And since I couldn't put the nail tip where it's supposed to go, I just filed it down a little bit. So I will be able to glue it like above where the damaged part of my nail is. Once all the tips are glued on, it is optional. You know, you can cut it if you want, but since I'm extra, I am not going to cut anything off so this is what they look like and this is the length I'm going for so now in order to get the best coffin shape that I can I'm going to try and cut the sides but as you see I'm struggling a little bit because the scissors are curved I didn't know that until after I bought it so I just tried my best to work with what I had but I'm gonna try and find some more small scissors that are straight so I can cut like cut the edges off so once I file it it can be the perfect coffin now I'm going to begin to file it and try to get the best shape that I can. I'm letting y'all know I'm not a professional. I've only been doing nails for like not even that long. This is only my second time doing acrylics, so they will not be perfect. So as y'all can see, I'm kind of struggling trying to file it, trying to get the way I hold the file right. But anyways, I'm just going to try and attempt to get a coffin shape. They're kind of more tapered, squarish, kind of looking-ish. But I tried, they don't look too bad. So yeah, I'm just gonna file it until I'm satisfied. After I'm done filing it, I'm just going to take my nail primer and only apply the primer to my natural nail, not to the nail tips. So I'm gonna go in with the first coat and then I'm gonna go in with the second coat. And I think that second coat is really doing it because I've had my nails on for a week now and no lifting, no breaking, no nothing. But now I'm just going to begin to apply the acrylic and y'all, I really don't know what I was doing. I was really freestyling it. I thought I was going to do like a pink and white ombre, but then I'm like, no, let's get a little more creative because, you know, pink and white ombre is just too basic. So I tried to go for like a fairy cotton candy, pink sunset kind of clouds looking like, I don't know y'all and ignore my big old bonnet head in the way. I was trying to do my best to like get the design right. But yes, yeah, so I'm just going to go back in with the pink and the white and mix it around until I get the style and design how I like it. And y'all, I'm sorry for like the angle. I know it's not the best angle it could be. I know it could probably be a little closer and my head could not be in the way. But y'all, this is like only my second time doing nails and my second time recording doing nails. Next time I do nails, I'll try to get the perfect angle for y'all. But just work with me for now. Just come on, just, just stick it out for me. Once you're done with the acrylic, you want to make sure you get all the acrylic out from like the edges. But once you're done, this is what it looks like. Y'all, it wasn't the best. Like, I don't know. I was kind of trying to go for like a smoky look and it just wasn't working out. But yeah, now I'm going to do the same design to the other nail because that's how I wanted this set to be. But yeah, we're just going to try and repeat it and hopefully it turns out a little better. But you know, you know, practice makes perfect. Once I was done with that nail, my middle finger should be dry. So now I'm just going to take the stars from like my little glitter collection and then just try and go in like a 
S shape, kind of like a spiral kind of swirl. But y'all see the stars are going to go like in one direction and then like swoop over to the other direction. And then the way I like to apply the glitter is just to dip my brush into the monomer and then dip my brush into like the glitter. And y'all, it's going to be hard to get one glitter at a time. So you're going to get a, like a clump of them. Put it on the nail and just spread it out or you can put it on the napkin and pick it up one by one but anyways after the glitter is in the form that you want it i'm going to take my clear acrylic and then just encapsulate it just by going over it y'all and this is kind of looking a hot mess like it's not the most satisfying because i'm not a professional so yeah y'all this is what it looks like but don't worry we're gonna foul and they're gonna turn out like a little better so after the middle finger is done, I'm just going to do the same thing to the ring finger and my big bonnet head was in the way so it kind of blocked the view of me putting the stars on but I literally did the same thing and now I'm just going to encapsulate it with glitter and then once again my big bonnet head cut it out when I was applying the clear to my pinky because I was doing a pink to clear ombre and I applied the clear first but y'all didn't get to see that and so now I'm just applying the pink and trying to blend it. And then I realized I put too much pink and it was too late, so I just had to work with it. Now onto my index finger, I'm doing the pink to white ombre. And I know it's a lot for me doing my second acrylics, but I'm like, hey, I need a challenge. Anyways, back to the video. I'm applying the white first. Ignore my head. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry. But I'm applying the white first at the bottom, and then I will go back and apply the pink but I'm gonna let the white dry down a little bit and then I'm gonna move on to my thumb and then just apply straight pink because I was gonna do like the design of my thumb, crazy. But you just watch and you'll see exactly what I'm doing. is kind of dry I'm gonna go in and put a pink at the top and this pink was kind of a little see-through so it was kind of hard trying to get the pink and white ombre but I eventually got it down so yeah and then I already put the stars on my pinky I didn't get to see that cuz again my big head was in the way but I did like I didn't do the stars I actually did a mix of butterflies and like polka dots I put it on the clear part of my pinky and then I'm just gonna go over it and encapsulate it so yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to see it. My head was in the way, but I will try my best to show y'all everything next time. finger blended I'm gonna do the same design that I did on my pinky and just apply the butterflies and the polka dots and y'all applying these tiny little like not even stickers they're just like chunks of glitter it was kind of hard but it's just you need patience patience is key when doing nails I finally figured that out because y'all this set to like five hours no lie but you know the more I practice the more I will get used to it and the faster I will get so yeah back to the video I'm just applying the butterflies and like some polka dots on the white part of the ombre and then once they like dry down in place I'm encapsulated but now moving on to the thumb I dipped my brush in the monomer and then I only picked up like a little bit of acrylic as y'all can see and now I'm just doing like these little not cloud they're kind of cloud designs so not your average cloud it's like a like a feathered cloud and then I'm just blending it out and using the monomer to kind of erase it while it's still wet. Which all the key to doing this design is working while it's wet because once it dries, it's no going back. So yeah, now I'm just going to put some butterflies in the middle of like each little section and then I'm going to go over and encapsulate it.
now that everything is encapsulated, this is what it looks like. And in order to know like when it's time to file, you should hear like a clicking sound on the nail. That's how you know it's dry because if you don't really hear the clicking sound, it's not dry. And then you don't want to file because you will mess up everything. So yeah, I'm going to start off my pinky because it was like the driest because it had the loudest click. And then by the time I'm done with my pinky, all my other fingers will be dry. So then I just go in and file those. So y'all like the actual application process of the nails only took about three hours but I was filing for like two hours because one I was doing a hand file and not an e-file so it takes a lot lot longer and these nails are extra long and I was trying to get the shape as best as I could because since this was only my second time applying the acrylic you know it had a lot of lumps and bumps and I was just trying to get it as smooth and like perfect as I could but then I came to the realization it's only my second time so it's not going to be perfect and so I just settled for what I thought was acceptable <music> filing this is the finished result and the pinky was a little bit thick but it's okay because I don't really care it's my hand but yeah this is the finished result now I'm just gonna move on and do the same stuff to my other hand but y'all I didn't show my other hand only because my camera was dying and I just was trying to get this video over with but anyways I'm going in and using some regular polish and only because my gel lamp and my gel polish did not arrive in time and I was tired of waiting for all my packages so I said forget it I'm gonna just use my regular clear nail polish for now so yeah I don't recommend that at all because once my gel polish came in it looked 10 times better so yeah now I'm just gonna apply two coats to both of my hands So one thing I do know about nails is whenever you're working with clear tips and clear acrylic, you always want to put the polish underneath the nail as well as the top because that is what is going to show your design the most. So as y'all can see, this is a big difference of polish and no polish like y'all. It's ridiculous. So now I'm just going to go in with my second coat. And then once this is done, I'm going to go in on my other hand and do the exact same thing. Two coats and make sure you put it underneath the nail on the clear acrylic nail. So here are some pictures of what it looks like with the clear nail polish and like it doesn't look bad but it doesn't look the best and so now that my gel lamp and my gel polish came in I took off the regular polish and put it on and y'all can see it's a big difference it looks a lot smoother it just looks a lot better but this is the end of the video thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoy stay tuned for my next video Make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Last but not least, follow me on Instagram at Tara Tiana. But yeah, y'all, I will see y'all in my next video. Peace. I said, girl, why you keep calling? I said, girl, why you keep calling? Yeah. She said, I need a new whip. Yeah, cause I know that.